Hi and welcome to RC Modders and this which is effectively the seventh video in the Bruder build series for converting the Wrangler Jeep. In the previous videos I covered dismantling, preparing the chassis which included the chassis trimming and the steering servo and then I moved on to the transmission where I first of all did the front axle, the rear axle and in the last video the wheels. In this video I'm going to be concentrating on preparing the body so that it will go straight onto the chassis and stay there. When I was designing the prototype I worked out all the places where you need to cut, make holes etc and I'm going to be duplicating that in the build version which shouldn't take too long so we're almost there. By the end of this video you'll have a fully working model and in the video which follows this one I'm going to be sorting out the lighting and showing how I put the external plugs on for the auxiliary channel and also to be able to control lights in a trailer. Okay, on with the video. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to trim out the back half of these tabs here. The reason why I only trim out half is because this is part of what holds the inside of the car together and it's only necessary to remove just over half of it. So in order to make it easy to see where I'm going to be cutting, I'm just going to be marking it with this pen. Incidentally, the pen which I'm using is actually a laundry marker pen, which I think I bought from Staples Stationery Store. Really handy for this sort of thing. It doesn't rub off with your finger once it's dried, however, it will come off with alcohol. So I'm just going to mark on here where I think it's going to be trimmed using the ruler it's somewhere around five millimeters from the front. So I just do that both sides. I'm doing it by eye because I'm comparing it to one over here. So I'll just do that quickly. And then a quick trim with the modelling knife. Just to clean up the ragged edges a little bit. And I think we're okay. One thing in particular that I did do on the prototype, and I imagine it's probably needed, is there's a little bit sticking up here and this is the area where we've got the terminal block so I'm just going to slice that off and I'm going to do the same on the other side because this is the area of where the speed controller is just slicing across the top and I think we should be good. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this piece here, the piece that was used for the steering because it isn't needed anymore and I will just get it out and then I'll explain how I got it out. Because it's actually a matter of squeezing in the right place. So having got it out, I'll just show you effectively what I did. So I put the pliers in there and I squeezed these side bits here and these are the bits which hook and hold it on. So when you squeeze those, like so, it'll actually push straight through. Hope that makes sense. Just do a quick hoover up. That's better. Okay, so we're getting closer to something that will actually fit over the top of the body. Next thing to do is to get rid of these two little bits here sticking up because that's over the top of where the receiver goes. A fairly new Stanley knife, obviously being careful to slice away from this off is the quickest and easiest way to do that. That's both of those done. And then I simply removed this area here by a combination of using the pliers to snip vertically 
then I was able to snap out the pieces and then chop off the remaining parts with the pliers and then I just cleaned up the rest of it using the Dremel. Unfortunately I managed to switch the camera off while I was doing that so you can't see that on film. I don't normally do that. But there we go. The next thing which I did was I made an 8mm hole in the front here and if I just turn it upside down the centre of that hole is about 8mm from the front and about 2.5cm away from the side. In order to make the hole, I first of all used the pin vise to make a small hole in the middle and then I used the body reamer just to ream it out to 8mm. The thing is to make sure the hole is big enough to accept the plug that goes into the battery. Okay, I think it's time now to test the body on the chassis. What I did find was that snapping off the part, which is like this, on that side there helps because it doesn't seem to like having both of them on at the same time. And that isn't a problem because the body is actually held down by these little clips here. So we'll just post that through, like so. Rest the body roughly on the chassis like that. And then we push the front down and that clips in nicely. And then holding it underneath, we have the body firmly on. If I wanted to put the battery in, I could do. Always making sure with the battery that you're trying to connect it the right way around. That will go in like that. And then that should all tuck away nicely in there, like so. And the bonnet should lock down. All the way around, it's all seating properly. So that's good and we're nearly done. However, what you will notice is that the back can move up and down easily and that's the next thing that we're going to rectify. So taking my 2.5mm bit, I'm going to be making a hole about 3mm down from the centre of this piece sticking out here. So I'll just do that and at the same time I'm going to be holding the body down to make sure that it gets held in the place that I want. So I'll just drill the first one and we keep going all the way through including the little red tab which is what we're going to be wanting to hold down and keep going until you get to the other side of the black bit i.e. that black bit there and I'm even going slightly into the frame but conscious that we've got the receiver etc in there it and then taking a couple of my screws which are M2 and are actually about 14 millimeters long I'm going to enlarge this hole here big enough for the heads of this to go through which I'll do very carefully because I don't want it ripping this hole if it did it wouldn't really matter but here it goes What's that and now I can see that this head is nicely going to go through. And then taking our screw, and the first time it goes in it might be a little bit stiff. Push it down. We can get that screwed up, and then we do the same on the other side. And that's going to give us a very secure mounting for the body, and only a couple of screws to get it off. If you don't do this, the chances are that you'll pick the car up by its body and then the chassis will fall off. So it is actually worth doing this. I'll just do the other one as well. And there we have a firmly mounted body shell. The battery all nice and enclosed. And potentially this might be as far as you want to go. In the next and final part, we're going to be adding lights and adding some sockets here so that you can power perhaps the ramps of the trailer and or the lights on it too. I know that this has been quite a short video but it's quite important to get this part right if you're going to want a satisfactory model. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Until the next time, thank you very much for watching.